So I posted a video of me taking pictures of Comet C2022 E3 ZTF and somebody commented, wow, that's really not a catchy name. So C2022 E3 ZTF is definitely a mouthful, but there's actually a reasonable explanation behind this naming. So nowadays we're discovering so many comets that the International Astronomical Union had to come up with a way to identify them in a non-ambiguous way. The first letter describes the type of the object. In this case, C just stands for a regular comet, but it could be a P for a periodic comet if it had an orbit of less than 200 years. It could be an A if it turns out to be just an asteroid. It could be an I if it's an interstellar object. It could be a D if it has disintegrated. And a couple other letters as well. So in our case, the C just stands for comet, and then we have 2022, which was the year it was discovered. The letter E is the fifth letter of the alphabet, which means it was discovered in the fifth two-week period of the year. Since the alphabet has 26 letters and the year has 52 weeks, they decided that they would just assign a letter to each two-week period of the year or like each half month. So in our case, E, which is the fifth letter, corresponds to the first two weeks of May. Three means it was the third comet discovered within that two-week period. And then finally, within parentheses, we have the name of the discoverer, which most of the cases is an astronomical survey, but every once in a while, we do get the names of actual astronomers, such as Leonard, which was a really bright one from 2021, or Shagnitsky, which was the first one discovered last year. I hope that makes sense.